Today we're going to look at a triple tax advantaged account, the health savings account or commonly known as the HSA. A common question that I get is, should I contribute to it? Well, today I'm going to walk you through the recommendations that we give to our clients, people just like you, of how to know if it's available to you, but more importantly, how to look at it and how to potentially utilize it to your advantage. I'm Scott with Searns Financial Group and the Retirement 360 Blueprint Process, where we work with people to help answer their key questions. Are you on track? What can you do to improve your financial picture? And how can we help reduce your tax situation? What is a health savings account? Well, a health savings account is an account that you can save into to pay for qualified health and medical expenses. But it also has some really great tax advantages, not only for right now, but also for your retirement. How do you know if it's available to you? Well, you must have an HSA high deductible health plan. If you're not certain, check with your employer or check with the company that has your health insurance. Let's talk about why this account is so important and also stick around to the end for our recommendations to clients to help maximize your tax benefits. Now the HSA is different than the FSA or flexible spending account. You see the FSA is use it or lose it. Each and every year at the end of the year, if you haven't used it all, it is gone. Where the HSA, it's yours forever. Also, it's portable, so you can continue to take it with you wherever you are, and there are no required distributions from the HSA account. Now, there are contribution limits, check with your plan, but for those that are age 50 plus, you can make an additional $1,000 contribution to your HSA. Another key point about the HSA account is that you can invest the account. So rather than uh, say some uh, CD or savings account type interest, you can actually invest this account for growth. In addition to that, the contributions that you make into the HSA account are actually tax deductible. So they can help reduce your taxable income for the year that you make the contribution. So contributions, when we put money into the account, that money is tax deductible. For example, let's just say you have an income of $80,000 a year and you put $6,000 into your HSA account. So we're going to say minus 6K, that was our contribution that went into the account. What does that mean? Well, it means that you reduced your taxable income that year to $74,000. Another key point of the triple tax advantage of the HSA is that any growth that you have in the account is tax-free growth. As long as you use that according to the rules of the account. Meaning, as long as that you're use, using the account to pay for qualified expenses. So if you take withdrawals out of the account and use those withdrawals for the qualified expenses, well, those withdrawals then are also tax-free. That's what completes the triple tax advantage of the health savings account. Now, in case you're thinking, well, what if I have a not, I've, I've built this account up and I've got a non-health expense that I need to pay for? Well, after the age of 65, you can withdraw money from the account. And if it's, again, a non-qualified expense, then you're going to pay income tax on that money. Now, before age 65, you are going to pay a, a penalty for taking money out and not using it for a qualified expense. But as long as you're using it for a qualified expense, health insurance deductibles, dental expenses, vision care, prescription drugs, hearing aids, long-term care services, and many others, well then you can withdraw that money tax-free. Next, we're gonna talk about how to view this type of account in your overall plan and potentially utilize it to your tax advantage. But first, if you're finding value in this video, Subscribe to our YouTube channel so that way you will get notified as we continue to come out with other informational videos just like this to help you in your financial future. Okay, here's a key tip. 
try to look at the HSA more as a retirement planning account versus a pre-retirement account. So if you don't have to dig into it pre-retirement, that would be great. Now, if you have health and medical expenses, that's what it's there for, that's what it's to be utilized for. However, it a, offers a lot of benefits to pay for some of those major medical bills that you're gonna have in retirement. Plus the fact it offers the benefits that you can invest it, which means you can potentially get a lot of dollars through tax-free growth to pay for some of those retirement bills. So, should you contribute to it? Yes. Chances are, most likely, at some point in time, you will have health or medical expenses. And this is the best and most tax-efficient strategy to be able to pay for those expenses. Now, other accounts that you might have to be able to save into for your retirement could be a 401k or Roth 401k. I've included a link in the video as well as in the comments to another video of ours that would help you understand the difference between the two as well as which may be best for your retirement. If you're wondering out of all of the different accounts that are offered to you, which you should be saving into to help maximize your retirement, we can help you narrow down those decisions. Utilize our website to schedule a complimentary call. By utilizing our website, you can schedule a day and time that works best for you. Also, if you found value in this video, we continuously come out with other informational videos just like this to help you in your financial future. Subscribe to our YouTube page so that way you get notified when they come out. Thanks and have a great day.